So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can add text to your website. And I'm going to open up this blank page here, the picture page that we created. So we just double click that or select it from the tabs. And there's two ways to do this. You can either click this box here that says insert text or you can go up to insert and click text or also control shift tech T. So once you've done that, you can move this box around. This is one of the great reasons why Yahoo Site Builder is such a good tool because it's what you see is what you get. You take this tool, once you've typed something, you can move it all around, delete it very easily. So I'm going to show you. Let's create some text. So now we have that box. Let's double click it. There you go. Now this is just like any word processing program. You can type anything. There we go. Now I've collected some text. Look at that. Now we have text. Very easy to do. You can move that text all around to position it wherever you want. You can change the text. We can highlight it. Select from different fonts, which is really cool. Okay, let's go with that uh, text there. And then if you want to change the size, just like much of your standard uh, text editors, uh, Microsoft, all that kind of good stuff. There we go. We've made it bigger. Now you can see that it didn't quite fit in the box. So if we want to stretch this box, you can see how that changes. And you can make these boxes as big as you want. You can also change the background on in this box. Let me do that for you. Let's change it to red. There we go. So if you want to change the background box, let's change that back to white. So there we go. We have text. It's very simple to create text. Um, you can also center that text. You can pretty much, if you want to change all the text in this box, you can just click on it. For example, let's uh, write this. Now let's say we want that smaller. You can just highlight it. There we go. Now we have two different texts. Now let's say we want to center it. You have your standard options left, center, and right. So you should be familiar with this if you've worked on a computer at all. It's fairly easy. You can also center this on the box like so. Which I don't find myself using that feature too much. And then you have your bullets and you can indent and all that kind of good stuff. Now if I want to change everything in this box, all I do is click on the box. Right now you see it's you can see right here that it's blank is because we have two different types of text sizes in here. Let's just say I want it all to be 16. I do that, everything switches. So if you want to have different sizes, you need to highlight specifically. Okay, so there you go. That is text.